Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. General Electric is one of the world's largest manufacturers of jet engines. In 2013, they specifically designed the GE9X engine for its Boeing 777X family. It's the largest and most powerful commercial aircraft engine ever built. Capable of producing 110,000 pounds of thrust, weighs 21,000 pounds, and has an intake of roughly 13 feet in diameter. Additionally, it features a wide range of advanced technologies such as 3D printed parts, ceramic matrix composites, and materials that increase efficiency and provide quieter flight with fewer emissions. GE9X also incorporates digital controls and sensors that provide real-time performance data. The GE9X is transported to testing facilities using a transport truck. When it arrives, the engine is unloaded at the facility and the covers are removed before being lifted. Finally, the engine is lifted using an overhead crane and placed at various locations inside the facility to carry out the desired tests. After extensive testing and certification processes, the GE9X engine was approved for commercial use in 2020. Multiple ground and flight tests were conducted at General Electric's Peebles facility in Ohio. This outdoor facility provides a safe environment to fire the engine and check its operational capacities. This is usually done very early in the development stage when the engine is still a prototype. During the GE9X's first test, the engine completed 375 cycles in 335 hours of runtime. This helped validate the engine's design regarding aerodynamic performance, mechanical system behavior, and secondary air system heat management. These inspections are essential to produce a reliable final product for the company's customers. General Electric has facilities all around the globe, and each facility serves a unique purpose. For instance, the facility in Winnipeg, Canada is the primary site for GE's jet engine testing. At this facility, the teams perform ice certification testing, cold start testing, bird and dust ingestion scenarios, and endurance tests. During these experiments, the engine is monitored using a combination of digital cameras and electronic sensors, and the information is directly streamed to Cincinnati, so the engineers who design the jet engines can monitor the tests in real time. The Peebles facility features the world's biggest fan, which allows engineers to study an engine's resistance to extreme temperatures. During the cold winter in Ohio, the GE9X was subjected to multiple icing tests, 
which provided insights into the engine's ability to withstand freezing weather conditions. Additionally, General Electric has an advanced facility in Auburn, Alabama, which plays a crucial role in producing the GE9X engine. This facility specializes in manufacturing critical additive components using 3D printing technology and allows for the creation of complex geometries that would nearly be impossible to produce using traditional manufacturing methods. In addition, this flexible technology enables engineers to optimize component design for improved performance and weight reduction. The GE9X was the first engine to feature 16 composite fan blades in a 134-inch case. The blades ended up being wider and longer. However, the engineers weren't satisfied with the design. During the technology maturation program, the engineers conducted various tests to find an ideal product so they wouldn't have to start from the beginning. They conducted almost two dozen tests to scrub the materials to obtain the final design. Luckily, they met all the aerodynamic performance objectives, acoustic performance objectives, and aeromechanical performance objectives. General Electric is the only company that has proposed this many fan blades on a jet engine, leading the industry from the front. The GE9X engine lifted off on March 13, 2018, under the wing of GE's 747 flying test bed in Victorville, California for its first flight test. During takeoff, the winds were calm. The temperature was 16 degrees Celsius, along with a dew point of 8 degrees Celsius. These parameters were ideal for a test flight. Therefore, the results were far better than what was initially expected. Jet engines require a lot of research and development to improve their efficiency, performance and environmental impact, which is why different companies collaborate to develop better designs. In 2021, General Electric and Safran unveiled the CFM Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines program which aimed to develop an open rotor engine capable of supporting both hydrogen and sustainable aviation fuels. Safran conducted multiple tests on the open rotor engine. According to the results, this design achieved a 20% reduction in fuel burn and carbon dioxide emissions compared to its predecessors. The ground tests conducted on an open-air test rig in southern France showed that this design also provides an adequate air intake. Safran is aiming to bring this technology to market by the mid-2030s. GE and Safran have previously developed a high-bypass turbofan engine named the CFM LEAP. It's the successor of the CFM56 and competes with the Pratt & Whitney PW1000G to power narrow-body aircraft. The CFM LEAP is optimized to burn fuel more efficiently and reduce emissions. Building a LEAP engine is a complex and intricate process, which involves a global network of suppliers and manufacturing facilities.
Ceramic matrix composites are used in the LEAP engine to enhance its performance and durability. General Electric CMCs are made from ceramic fibers, offering several advantages over traditional metallic materials. For instance, GE's CMCs are lightweight and have corrosion-resistant properties. Recently, the concept of hybrid electric aviation has been the center of attention, and it involves a hybrid electric aircraft with a hybrid electric powertrain. In a hybrid configuration, an aircraft uses several energy sources in flight. The blend of energy sources, including jet fuel or sustainable aviation fuels, along with electricity, optimizes overall energy efficiency and reduces fuel consumption by up to 5%. You see, the energy density of lithium-ion batteries is much lower than that of aviation fuel which is why a hybrid electric powertrain increases the flight range compared to pure electric aircraft. The traditional jet engines are internal combustion engines, which burn fossil fuels to produce thrust. While these engines are effective, they contribute significantly to carbon emissions and environmental pollution. Internal combustion engines consume large amounts of fuel to work, making them very costly. On the other hand, hybrid electric aircraft are powered by an internal combustion engine that uses motors powered by batteries, resulting in zero emissions, lower operating costs, and minimum fuel requirements. Rolls-Royce is developing a turbo generator system, a very complex and scalable application, which will be used in serial hybrid propulsion systems as an energy source. In a serial hybrid configuration, the battery is used for takeoff. In contrast, during the cruise phase in the air, the turbo generator system is used as a range extender recharges the batteries, and powers the whole propulsion system. Rolls-Royce is one of the very few companies that are working closely to develop an all-electric aircraft. In fact, in 2021, they introduced the Excel model, which stands for Accelerating the Electrification of Flight officially referred to as the spirit of innovation. Comprised of 6,000 cells and an advanced cooling system that can withstand extreme temperatures, the plane's battery is a feat of engineering. With this project, Rolls-Royce not only aimed to demonstrate the environmental benefits of electric propulsion, but also its efficiency and performance. The company achieved a feat that no one could. In September 2021, the plane reached a top speed of 386 miles per hour and sustained 348 miles per hour for a distance of 3,000 feet earning it a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. Innovation in aircraft engines and the research and development of hybrid and all-electric systems is crucial for the future of aviation. The new technologies are not just about efficiency, they secretly pave the way for more sustainable, safer, and globally connected air travel. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.